it doesn't make intuitive sense that it's okay to take a saw and cut your sternum. I mean, I, I do that. I do that frequently. I cut patients' sternum, and I know that they heal well. But I do think it also has some important impacts that we've minimized. We tend to minimize that in order to justify continuing to do that day in, day out. We just haven't really attributed it to the sternotomy, like the long recovery time, like the, the fact that the elderly patient that just lingers in the hospital forever and we can't figure out why it is that he just can't seem to get better, even though we did a perfect heart operation. And I think it's a lot of times it's that sternotomy that triggers some of these other events that occur downstream. This is a surgical tool that allows me to get into spaces that I would otherwise require a morbid incision to get to. And I think after that, then it becomes clear that this is a, a way of improving surgery as opposed to radically changing surgery. So this pain is pretty bad for a couple days, but then it just seems to go away. By the time they go up to the, the floor on the, uh, our recovery unit outside of the ICU, it's just gone. I find patients take one or two Percocets per day with a sternotomy for six weeks. And, uh, and with the minimally invasive approach, they're off of Percocets by the time they leave the hospital. And so these are, these are, this is one of the many things that probably is responsible for the quicker recovery time. You just, that, that pain doesn't linger. You don't have to take Percocets. You can drive a car and, and get out there and do things. And all these things work together. The reason why I'm a da Vinci surgeon is because da Vinci just makes it easier. I mean, I, I think it makes the... Uh, it makes the minimally invasive approach so much easier. And uh, the reason why I'm a minimally invasive surgeon is because I, I think that it is exactly what the patients want. And so it's what we ought to be providing. What the patients want is revascularization without the pain, without the long recovery. That hasn't been what the surgeons want. They want to do it in a safe way that they feel comfortable with, that they've trained with. And I think we kind of, you know, it, it's not, not something that you say that you that you want to do, but you got to get out of your comfort zone a little bit here. Um, that's not that's not what most surgeons would like to hear a young surgeon say, but but it's true. I think in this instance.